Hello and welcome back to the flight deck. We're about 100 miles out from our top of descent, so we're going to look at our approach and arrival into the Vancouver area. Hopefully you've watched the first couple videos in this series on the 737-800, and we're going to carry on now as we get ourselves set up. So we're going to take a look at the destination weather. The current weather in Vancouver is winds are 290 at 16. We're landing on 26 right, so that is fine. We have 20 miles of visibility. There's a few clouds at 4,000 feet, a few clouds at 6,000 feet, broken at 12,000 and broken at 24,000. So that's not going to be an issue for us. Temperature is 16 degrees, dew point is 12, and the current Barometer setting is 29.82. So, we can start getting all our information entered in. So we'll jump down here. We'll go over to our index page. So we're gonna want now the approach page to enter in that information. So it doesn't require all that much. But what we are going to do is, once again, we are going to go into our calculator, go to our landing calculator, and we're going to type in one in um, CYVR, which is Vancouver, and 26 right. And once again, unfortunately, I can't show this on the screen, but link to the calculator will be in the description below. We're going to bring in the weather and we are going to calculate our arrival. Uh, oh, our planned landing weight according to the flight plan is 62.9. 62. <clears throat> Sorry, just about sneezed there. 62,990. And we'll do our calculation. And we have our numbers. So it wants to do a flap 30 arrival. So we're going to select that and enter that in. A flap 30 with 145 knots is our rough speed. And it wants our approach speed at 153. And landing altitude, it wants set at 50, so we'll go up top. We can't, well, yeah, we can do 50. It goes in 50 foot increments, so that is now set. And we have uh, our information entered in. I'm not too worried about the alternate. still in cruise. So that is set. So our landing altitude we have checked. Our radios, so on Unicom, we're not worried about that. Localizer ILS frequency course. So let me pull up the ILS approach plate onto the screen. So there's a couple things we have to enter in from here and I'll zoom in in the center. You can see it's got a course of 263 degrees and a frequency of 111.95. These you have to set manually. So we're going to set in 263 on course 1. And we'll set it in uh, course 2 as well. If we really wanted, we could set up like a missed approach to a VOR and all that over on this side, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. So our courses are now set up. We're going to come down to our nav radios which are down here and we're going to set in that frequency of 11195 so there's 11195 on that side and we'll put 11195 on that side I'm also going to put in the Vancouver VOR which is not at the airport actually it's a little ways away And it's used on some approaches, but not all. And I'm actually going to tune that one in on this side just as a reference. So that will be over here on VOR2. It will show the Vancouver VOR. 
and they are all set up here and on the other side. So that is our localizer at course frequency and we have confirmed that information. So that can come off now. And I hope you were able to see the radio, nav radio set up down here. And if you're wondering, your ADF can be used down on this side. I don't see an ADF in the area or else I tune it in so we can look at that one as well. Wing and in engine anti-ice I don't think is going to be required. It's still pretty warm out here. We can do our recall. It is good. There's no issues. Now our MCP. We have our restrictions down. We, we saw them when we were programming in. Our first restriction 230 knots and below 12,000 feet. And if we go uh, further down, we can see our other restrictions, 3,000 feet at, above, that's our intercept, and our other ones as well. So that is not going to be an issue. They're all uh, nicely listed there. Uh, actually, I want to go back to the cruise page. So we're going to set 3,000 feet as our descent altitude. And when we reach the top of descent marker, the aircraft will start down on its own. There we go. So the altimeter we will set when we get further down the path. Minimums we can set. So we're going to be going in on a standard ILS. It is only a Cat 1 runway. So we're going to set the minimum of 209 feet. So here's your selector, either your radio altimeter or your barrel. We're going to set the barrel and we're going to set it to 209. And there you can see our barrel is now set 209. Our ILS frequency and course is dialed in. If it has DME, it will give us a distance to it over here as well. So our missed approach for this airport is climb to 425 feet heading 263 then right turn on 294 to 3000 and then we want to intercept the outbound YPK VOR to Dutno and then bounced up to 5,500 feet. Again, not anticipating any issues with that. So we're well over the BC interior here. See the mountains? And uh, some snow peaks off to the, the distance there. Top of descent is about 40 miles out. And you can start to see the other waypoints on the approach starting to kick in there as well. Auto brakes, we're going to set auto brake one for this landing, nice and gentle. Altimeter will reset when we pass through transition. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to set our heading bug to put the heading we're set flying right now, 220. Just for when we come off on the vector. If we need our heading, it will uh, be pretty close to where we want it. So that is everything plugged in. We can do a quick check here on the systems. Everything is looking good with our hydraulics and our pressures, tire temperatures and controls. And of course, our engines are all looking good. And we keep that information up here. And 
And that is about it. We are ready for our descent when we get there. We're 33 miles out. So I'll uh, join you when we're about to start down. So you can see we're three miles out from our top of descent. And on the uh, primary flight display, you can see that we are in LNAV still, FMC speed, but we've changed over from uh, uh, VNAV to VNAV path. So it's waiting to intercept our path down to 3,000 feet, which is all calculated. We'll see the deviation, the deviation markers have just popped up and we are now starting down our descent. So we're leaving flight level 360 starting our arrival into Vancouver. The other thing I've done is I've taken out the vectors at the bottom of the descent just to make it easier. There's no other traffic so we wouldn't have to be jockeyed around into position. So down here you can see the RMP AMP guides. They are giving us our vertical descent and of course we also have our lateral guidance via the LNAV. Engines have throttled back they're going to hold our speed as we do have speed restrictions coming up as well. Various things on the display that you can see is there's a couple of uh, markers here. This is where we decelerate down to 10,000 feet. There's the first one here is our, uh, I think it's our 230 restriction at stave, but there's also the 250 for 10,000 feet. So they're kind of blurred together in there but it'll slow us down. We will have to manually do the final speeds though. And our approach speed as per the chart is 153 with a VRAF of 145. So 153 is what we will dial in as we come in to intercept the uh, glide slope for the runway as we head down. So this is a short one, but it covered the prep for descent and our arrival and getting ourselves headed downhill, coming into the Vancouver area. The next one will cover the actual approach, landing, and then the shutdown. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.